abortion, oh, see, I start with the, the abortion cannot be reversed. We must never assume that a woman that walks into a clinic to have an abortion is skipping with joy as she enters in going, I don't mind killing my baby. We must never assume that when she walks out, she's okay. We must never assume that the man in the relationship with her always wants her to get rid of the baby. We must not assume that there is any solution to the absolute problem of abortion except the absolution that Jesus purchased and won on the cross for you. Doesn't matter how many things you do, the only way to silence the voice of the devil is the voice of Jesus Christ preaching absolute forgiveness. Abortion is terrible. It's destructive. It kills not only the child, but the soul and conscience of the mother and the father. The only way that there is any healing is by the wounds of Christ. Well, what about the abortionist? So, yeah, we talked about the woman and the man. We, and we're not making them victims. They did something, but they can only be healed by Christ. But what about the abortionist, the guy who may, or gal who makes a living off of performing abortions? Can that guy, that gal, be forgiven? Well, you're forgiven. You're forgiven for for daydreaming during the sermon. You're forgiven for spending your money on yourself instead of helping your neighbor. You're forgiven for not loving every child. You mean, have you ever been at a restaurant and a child's crying? Like, man, I wish they'd quiet that baby up. The thing, I never do that because usually it's my kid. The thing is, you are forgiven. The only way for that person to have peace is in the peaceful voice of Jesus that makes them complete in the forgiveness of their sins. So you who have had an abortion or who know someone who have, or you who have performed abortions, take heart. Your Lord and Savior has assumed that mistake into him, into himself, that from him may come absolute peace in the pardoning of your sin. You are forgiven. You are loved and you are claimed. You are not a mistake. You are God's eternal will to be with him forever. So take heart. Jesus died for that woman who had an abortion. Jesus died for that man who was quiet or who even forced the woman to have an abortion. Jesus died for the abortionist. Jesus died for all of us who stand aside and don't do anything while it continues. All for us, for you, that you may have life in the one true son, born that he may die, that you may live forever. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give, help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.